Hey, hey, thanks for stopping by. In this video, we're gonna go through everything that you need to know about Verdi and Mogul, Nevada. Here we go. Hey, Logan Allen Williamson here, representing Williamson Professional Real Estate Sales. Hey, if you're looking for all the information that you are going to need about living up in the Reno, Nevada area, this is the channel for you. Weekly, I come out with new content about what it's like to live up in Reno, work here, play here, eat here, sleep here, all the things that are associated with the lifestyle up in Reno, Nevada. So I'll tell you what, if that's information that you would like, if you're considering relocating up to Reno or moving inside of the Reno Basin, I would love to have you as a subscriber of this channel. Go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit that little notification bell so you're notified every week when I come out with new content. And hey, I'll tell you what, if you are considering a move up to Reno, I'm getting people from all over the world, especially California, that are contacting me about what it's like to live up here based on your lifestyle, where it is you're gonna work, what it is you like to do for recreation, if you wanna be near Lake Tahoe, if you wanna be right in the downtown area, I've got all the information that you're gonna need uh, relocating and living up here in Reno, so you've gotta reach out to me. All my information is gonna be in this video and linked in the description, so make sure. You can send me a little carrier pigeon, or give me a call, text, or email, and I can't wait to talk to you soon about helping you out with your move up to the Reno area. All right, hey, now when it comes to Reno, there are a lot of different, let's call them suburbs, or different um, locations, different neighborhoods that you are probably thinking about if you're considering a move up to the area. Now, one of those neighborhoods is gonna be called Verdi. Some people call it Mogul. They're actually two separate areas that are right next to each other, but the Verdi, Nevada area is gonna be right on the Nevada-California border up in northwest Reno. It's gonna be right on that freeway on the I-80. When you're coming into Reno, you're gonna pass right through Verdi. And I wanna show you all the things that you're gonna to need to know if you're considering a move out to Verdi. In this video, we'll discuss home prices, uh, we'll discuss the schools out there. We'll discuss some of the businesses that are in the area. And basically, uh, you know, as far as the landscape and the beauty that's out there, everything that you're gonna need to know about Verdi. And to do that, first things first, um, let's go ahead and we'll jump into my computer here and let's take a look at a couple things. All right, back for another deep dive in the computer. Now, if you've been taking a look at Reno, you probably have a good idea of the general map but just to touch on things quickly here. So if you're driving into Reno from California, you're probably coming in through Sacramento, through um, I-80 eastbound, and that's gonna take you directly through uh, state line and then up into the Verdi area, um, running alongside the Truckee River, down into the Reno Basin. You might also be coming up from the South Lake Tahoe area or down or up through Carson, which will take you 580 up to uh, 395 North. And either way, what you're going to see in greater Reno areas, you're going to see um, some mountains down on um, the Southwest side near Mount Rose. Mount Rose Highway will take you right up to uh, North Lake Tahoe. And you're also going to start to see some mountains over here, the Sierra Nevadas that are going to be up and visible um, in the Northwest area as well. Now I grew up in Northwest Reno. Um, you'll see McCarran right here. McCarran is the loop that runs all the way around the Reno Sparks area. And I actually grew up in Northwest Reno off of 7th Street, which you're going to see here right about in this area. And in this particular neighborhood, your views are going to be of the entire downtown area, basically all of Reno here. As you get up above McCarran and up into the areas up here, your views are eventually going to get to the point where you crest over the hill and your views are more so of the backside of the Sierra Nevada mountains here, as opposed to the downtown Reno area, just to give you an idea. So the views are a little bit different, equally as beautiful. It just depends on what you want to look at, whether that is the overall downtown area, which you may want to start looking in areas like this, if you're looking at Northwest Reno or the areas up against the hillside, um, in what feels like a little bit more woodsy kind of off the grid type of area, which is certainly going to be the Somerset area and the Verdi mogul area, which is out here. So just to give you an idea, um, growing up, I went to, uh, you know, McQueen high school, played youth sports and did a lot of our practices and things right here up in the Northwest um, neighborhoods off of McCarran Boulevard. And a lot of the kids that we played with and different things like that, you know, they were from Verdi and they used to drive in and that's anywhere between about a six and a 10 or a 12 minute drive up to get to Northwest Reno and probably no more than 15 minutes, even with traffic um, to get to the downtown Reno area. So it's really 
all pretty close to each other up in the Reno area. And I tell people that to contact me all the time from out of state and from outside of the Reno area that, you know, really everything is pretty close up here. Um, and if you're used to traffic, like in California, or you're used to any commute times up over, you know, 45 minutes to an hour, anywhere else, anything up in the Reno area is going to be a breeze for you. But to give you an idea about Verdi, um, driving through Verdi and driving out to Verdi from Reno is certainly going to feel like you're starting to go out of town because you are basically you're on your way to California. And <clears throat> once you get up past uh, Mayan Avenue, which is going to be kind of your last area for grocery stores and, and things like that, um, you're going to have a lot of your apartment complexes, grocery and amenities in this area. Um, that's when you hit Somerset Parkway. And this used to be a new housing development built around a golf course that was only accessible from Somerset Parkway from that Mayan Avenue. It's actually been built up now to where the Somerset Parkway loop goes all the way back down through and you can get out of it and you can access it through Verdi as well. So they built it all the way up. If you're looking at the Verdi area, I would definitely recommend looking into some of the homes up in Somerset as well. They've got some homes that are built up into the hillside that are incredible and beautiful. They've also got a ton of homes that are right on the golf course in Somerset that are beautiful as well. These are going to be relatively newer homes. Um, there are some older homes out in Verdi, but there's also a ton of new construction as well. Now, as far as Verdi, there is Boomtown, there's Cabela's, and if you haven't looked up Boomtown or Cabela's, Cabela's, if you're into sport fishing and hunting and things, it's going to be a great outdoor um, store. And Boomtown is a hotel casino. It's also got a great arcade. It's got the Midway, uh, or no, Midway Circus Circus, but Boomtown has got a really cool arcade for kids. It's got a carousel and mini golf and all sorts of stuff for entertainment. If you like it out there, they do some cool stuff for Halloween as well for the kiddos. Um, but that's going to be some of your main attractions and things in Verdi. You also have a couple of your places to buy lottery tickets once you get down into the California side um, and a couple diners or I shouldn't say a couple, but a place to get gas and a diner if you need a bite to eat. But really, Verdi's claim to fame is going to be how it feels secluded from Reno while still being so close. If you take your main exit out into Verdi, once you start to drive down, there's a big rock wall here that you drive past, and you'll see a couple bends in the Truckee River, a couple great spots for fly fishing, and to bring your truck down if you want to just get really close to the river, go walk around. There's some places to walk around with some nice stones, with some wading water down there. Um, and then once you start to get out into the area where you cross the bridge and get out back in here, this is where you get some of your gated communities with some of the larger homes. Some of your tremendous views, not only along the Truckee River, but also up into your Sierra Nevada mountains out here. There's some incredible hiking trails, dirt bike paths, quad paths, horse ride, uh, horseback riding paths, and overall Verdi is incredible. It's scenic, it's gorgeous, um, and you've got a good school district here. Uh, you know, as I'll mention, Verdi Elementary probably going to Billinghurst uh, Middle School and McQueen High School, which is where I went. Um, great sporting programs, but overall. You know, you're going to be right on the Truckee River. You're going to be intimately um, knowing the Truckee River if you live out in Verdi. You're going to cross it. If you live out in a few of these gated communities, you'll cross it every single day to and from Reno. And then if you go up um, towards California a little ways, you're going to have your flume. You're going to have a bunch of rocks that young kids like to jump off of like I did when I was young, even though it's pretty dangerous. Wouldn't recommend doing that nowadays. Um, but all the way up through the Truckee River where this goes up into and even meets Lake Tahoe, the entire area up here is just beautiful. Now, I wanted to show you as far as some of the home prices. In Reno, your average price point for a three-bedroom, two-bath home is going to be in that $300,000 ballpark. Out in Verdi, things are certainly a little bit more expensive. You can get into the mid $400,000 range, but more likely than not, you're going to be looking in that um, $500,000 to $600,000 to $700,000 range, getting up into even the low a million to 1.5 to 1.6 million dollar range if you're looking at some of the larger homes that are in some of these gated communities out here but there is a large portion of the new construction um, that is going to be in the you know 2500 to 3500,000 square foot range that's going to be anywhere between about 500,000 and 750,000 just to give you an idea of some of the um, availability out there. It'll be a little bit elevated in terms of price point, but still within reach if you're, you know, especially moving over from California and you're looking at maybe downgrading or downsizing, um, if those are the right words to use. But just to give you an idea, I would highly recommend Verdi. I think it's an incredible place to live. Um, and I would definitely own a home there myself if the shoe ever fits. So 
Let me know if you have any questions. You can comment below. If there's anything that I didn't cover that you'd like me to touch on, just write me a comment, send me a quick question. I'll be happy to answer you there. So as you just saw there with the different amenities that are in the area, you know, Boomtown's a heck of a lot of fun. If you've got kiddos, uh, spent a lot of time out there as a kid, but overall, Bird Eye is an absolutely beautiful area to be. You know, you're right in the thick of the Sierra Nevada mountains. And if you're up there um, and recreationally, you know, if your kids are in that high school age, they're probably gonna be up there trying to ride the flume and jump off all the rocks and things. I don't recommend doing any of that. And I've got a lot of friends growing up that got injured doing stuff like that, but kids will be kids. So anyway, there is a lot of great recreation up there. There's some dirt bike and quad trails. Um, the new development and the real estate stuff that's going on up there, as you saw, is basically a moving target. There's a lot of development in the area. People are starting to learn more and more about Verdi is still being really accessible to Reno in general. Because of that, we're starting to see more and more development and new builds out in the area. <clears throat> now, in regards to the school district out in Verdi, so as an elementary school, you're going to have Verdi Elementary. Now, this is actually rated a five out of five elementary school. Um, I had a lot of kids growing up that I played sports with that went to Verdi Elementary. And I can't say that I went there myself, but I know that people speak highly of it. Um, it is a public school. And moving into the middle school, I believe everybody's going to be going to Billinghurst Middle School, which is going to be up in the Northwest area. Uh, Billinghurst has a cool basketball gym. Uh, the Billinghurst Bighorns, they were always our rival because I went to Clayton uh, Middle School down in um, uh, the Old Northwest. And I'll tell you what, Billinghurst is a cool middle school um, known for their basketball program. And the high school for Verde is going to be McQueen High School in a lot of the areas. I'm a little bit biased, I guess, because McQueen is where I went to high school. I think it's a really cool high school. Go Lancers. Um, but great football program, pretty good basketball program, baseball program, uh, known for their strict athletics up there. And it was just an incredible experience for me. So overall out in Verdi, the elementary, the middle, and the high school scene is going to be pretty admirable. If you're looking at overall beauty, you really can't beat a place like Verdi where you're not going to get a lot of the downtown in overall Washoe, um, Washoe Valley views from Verdi, you are gonna get incredible mountain views of the Sierra Nevadas that are gonna be right in your backyard. So the area from Lake Tahoe, where the Truckee River runs all the way down through Verdi into the downtown Reno area, the river setting is absolutely beautiful um, up in Verdi. You know, there's snow-capped mountains that you're gonna see up there. The drive west out of Reno on I-80 um, directly out of Verdi is just absolutely beautiful along the river. And if you are looking at an incredibly scenic area to live, I'll include a couple pictures and photos and things of the landscape in this video. Eventually I'll get out there and I'll drive the area with my camera, but it's absolutely incredible with some breathtaking views. And it's a little bit relaxed, a little bit more off the grid up outside of town. So you're not gonna get as much congestion, especially after you get off of some of the exit ramps and drive out into the Verdi area a little bit deeper. Hey, I hope that video was helpful. Hope that gave you some great insight on what it's like to live out in the Verdi, Nevada area. If you're looking at trying to get information as far as what the heck is it like to live up here in Reno, work here, eat here, sleep here, play here, and develop your social life here, this is the channel for you. If you haven't already done so, I would love for you to like this video. Smash that like button, helps us reach more people. Please hit that subscribe button. Leave us a comment if you feel so inclined, if you've got any questions, or if you wanna see any specific content related to the Reno area. But hey, make sure you stick around the channel. I weekly come out with new stuff that's going to give you all the information that you need about what it's like to live up in the Reno area. And hey, if you're considering relocating up here, if you have real estate related questions or any questions related to this area, I'm a local real estate agent here, I would love to speak with you. I'm getting people from all over the United States, all over the world, and certainly from California that are relocating up here to Reno. And I love the opportunity to help you out, answer your questions, and take all the headache out of the process of finding you a great home that's going to fit your lifestyle, fit your work habits and your schedule just get you into a great place that you can actually grow into um, but by any means contact me send me a little smoke signal or a carrier pigeon put a call text or email will also do my information's in this video I'll talk to you soon